Tell me the people that you hang out with. Tell me the people that you are friends with. And I will tell you who you are. My family, Jeremy Clarkson, a person who incites hate towards Meghan Markle. And I say it openly in a printed article by The Sun owned by Rupert Murdoch that he hates Meghan Markle on a cellular level and dreams of Meghan being made to parade naked in the streets. Forgive me, my family, for mentioning these words. But I want you to understand something. The hate, the racism that Megan faces each and every single day. My family and also this person who has said how much he hates Megan Markle was invited to a party by Camilla, the Queen Consort, a party that he attended. A man who abuses Megan Markle was invited to a party by Camilla, the Queen Consort. Piers Morgan was also present at that same party. Piers Morgan said that members of the royal family thank him. They thank him for what? For his harassment of Meghan Markle. For his abuse of Meghan Markle. My family, everything that Harry has said, everything, is all being proven one by one. Each and every single thing that Harry said is all being proven one by one about the parties members of the royal family have with the press. Kind of like what we are seeing Camilla doing. And Piers Morgan said members of the royal family thanked him for what? For abusing Megan? For what? For inciting hate against Megan? Because that is what he has been doing for quite a long, long time. I mean, my family, a woman, a mixed-race black woman, has gone on record to say that she has suffered from suicidal thoughts. A mixed-race black woman. And you would think in the world that we live in, people would mind their words. But no, not Jeremy Clarkson. Not him. A man who has also been fired for using the N-word frequently. Tell me who you are, my family. Tell me who you are. This guy has been using the N-word frequently. But they will tell you the hatred of Megan has nothing to do with her race. That is what they will tell you, my family. And my family, it just pains so much to see the hate. And Dr. Shola had something to say about this. And you have another article written exclusive. Camilla's very glamorous private party. Dame Judy Dench, Piers Morgan, Claudia Winkleman, and Jeremy Clarkson. Join Queen Consort at Star Studded Mayfair Lunch as she proves Megan is not the only role with pulling power. Even now, they are using Megan as a scapegoat. In an article that had nothing to do with Megan Markle, in an article whereby it shows and proves everything that Harry was saying in the Harry and Megan documentary, they are proving Harry right. They are proving Harry right. Members of the royal family wine and dine with the UK tabloid press to get good press. Why would you invite someone who abuses your, you know, granddaughter, your daughter-in-law? How can you uh, invite someone who abuses your daughter-in-law? How? How? I mean, your stepdaughter-in-law. Because Camilla, Harry's stepmother, the woman who caused Harry's mother so much pain, so much pain and torture. However, it is not surprising, my family. This is not surprising. I mean, we have seen Camilla taking pictures, going to parties with Jonathan Rothmere. So this isn't really surprising. 
Piers Morgan invited. Jeremy Clarkson, who said these hateful words about Megan, also invited my family. And all Megan did, all she ever did, was simply fall in love while being a mixed race black woman. That's all she ever did. Just fall in love and say no to abuse. That's all she ever did. That's all she ever did. My family, Dr. Shola, responded to what Jeremy Clarkson said. And this article on Camilla's very glamorous party. And Shola, a woman that I deeply admire and respect, said something in a tweet. And I quote, Harry and Meghan's success will unhinge their enemies. May God plague those who hate her and beat her enemies before her face. Psalms chapter 89 verse 23. Jeremy Clarkson's hate for Meghan Markle is unhinged. Bravo, Camilla. Show me you hate Meghan by parting, by parting with her haters without telling me you hate her. My family, first of all, thank you, Dr. Shola, for always telling the truth, for always fighting this hate campaign against Meghan Markle, for exposing this hate campaign. Members of the royal family are whining, dining with people who incite hate against Meghan Markle. That is what they are doing, and it makes me sick. It makes me sick. Confirming exactly everything that Harry said. A woman, Megan, begged for her life, pleaded for her life because of the death threats she has received. And even that is not enough to stop the hate campaign by the UK tablet media. They still keep going. It is relentless. It is relentless, my family. It's so, it's so bad and so disgusting what they are doing, what the royals and the tablets are doing. And my family, no one in the media will ask the right questions. Why is Camilla, the queen consort, hanging out with the people the haters, the racist individuals who incite hate against Meghan Markle. I mean, just ask yourself one question. How does this even pass a newspaper? You know, you know that's what I ask myself. How does it pass a newspaper editor and say, approve, publish this, approved, publish this? How does it pass? and get approved to be published by a newspaper editor. When you see this, how? How? That's a question you ask yourself. And time and time again, UK tabloid media, owned by Rupert Murdoch, because the Sun is owned by Rupert Murdoch, keeps on showing the bigotry that exists in the UK tabloid press. The hate that exists within the UK tabloid press. Is that okay? Is that allowed? Is that acceptable? The answer is no. It is not acceptable. It is wrong. What is happening is my family, people should get arrested for what is happening right now. This is not free speech. It is not. This is not free speech. It's a hate campaign. It's malicious. Meant to ensure that someone is hurt. Meant to ensure that someone is hurt. And I condemn these actions. I condemn these comments from Jeremy Clarkson. My family. And so are people condemning this. My family. It's so sad. It's so sad. I mean, hear this please. And I quote Jeremy Clarkson's words. Allow me to just mention this because my family ask yourself, how does this even be published? How is it published? Megan though, and I quote, Megan though is a different story. I hate her. Not like I hate Nicola 
Sturgeon or Rose West. I hate her on a cellular level. At night, I'm unable to sleep as I lie there grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day when she's made to parade naked to the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Tell me, what they seek is not physical violence. Tell me, after just reading this, an article, an extract of an article from The Sun, owned by Rupert Murdoch. The Sun is also being sued by Prince Harry. My family, you tell me how this is okay. You tell me how this is acceptable. And there has been anger on show media because of these comments by Jeremy Clarkson. It's disgusting. Even someone said that hashtag Jeremy Clarkson is a racist. With an article, a screenshot of an article saying Jeremy Clarkson, the host of Top Gear, on last warning from BBC after racist remarks. You have received so many warnings. So many warnings because of your racist remarks and still you just don't stop. My family, and these are the people that Camilla, the Queen Consort, hangs out with. My family, Camilla really knows exactly how to choose her friends. Her father, her father, King Charles, is married, married to a woman, married to Camilla. The queen consort that hangs around with people who incite hate against his daughter-in-law. Then says, oh, why can't Meghan take it? Others have gone through it. I mean, Harry said it himself in, on what he was told by senior members of the royal family, like from Charles to William. My family, kindly just hear this, please. A woman suffering from suicidal thoughts and then her father telling harry my my darling boy he calls harry you can't fight with the media the media is the media you can't fight with them so what does charles do charles hires deputy editor the daily mail because he wants good press a father to protect his child a father who failed to protect you know his wife the late diana should at least even try and make amends for his wrongs, for his errors, and do something to keep his son safe. But he does not do that. And no wonder we call him a lousy human being. Charles, a lousy father. My family, please kindly just hear, you know, I want you to be able to hear this clip, please. Like Some things are painful. Stop if I'm not here. And that was the scariest thing about it, is it was such clear thinking. I remember her telling me that, that she had wanted to take her own life. And, um, and that really broke my heart because I knew, well, I knew that it was bad, but to just constantly be, um, picked at by these vultures uh just picking away at her spirit that she would actually think of not wanting to be here that uh, it's, that's not an easy one for a mom to hear you know uh doria raglan is in tears after finding out that her daughter wants to take her own life because she is being picked at by these vultures. People like Jeremy Clarkson who have been fired from their jobs for being racist and then got a tablet that is racist for them to write articles for, for them to make money writing hateful, bigoted articles. My family 
if you are someone who, after seeing all of this, and still wonders why Harry and Meghan left, then I can't help you. I, I just can't be able to help you. I, I can't help you. If you can't see why Harry and Meghan left to this point, after everything we've discussed all this time, then I can't help you. When you see a mother pleading and begging for the life of her daughter, her only child, and you still don't understand, I can't help you. I can't help you. And this is what racism is about. Open, unhinged hate, uncontrollable hate, that people like Jeremy Clarkson can't control themselves from being racist, nor hide that indeed they are racist, that they openly show it to every single person to be able to see it. This is what racism is indeed about. And my family, I also want you to be able to see, to see this, please. Hear this kindly. From Doria Raglan and also from Prince Harry, what he had to say about this. And uh, and I can't protect her. H can't protect her. She's a mother crying. I was devastated. I I knew that she was struggling. We were both struggling. But I never thought that it would get to that stage. And the fact that it got to that stage, I felt angry and ashamed. I didn't deal with it particularly well. I dealt with it as institutional Harry as opposed to husband Harry. And what took over my feelings was my royal role. I had been trained to worry more about what are people going to think if we don't go to this event, we're going to be late. And looking back on it now, I, I, I hate myself for it. What she needed from me was so much more than I was able to give. I wanted to go somewhere to get help, but I wasn't allowed to. They were concerned about how that would look for the institution. They knew how bad it was. They thought, why couldn't she just deal with it? As if to say, well, you know, everybody else has dealt with it. Why can't she deal with it? But this was different. It was really different. But actually, if you strip all that away and say, okay, fine, it was exactly the same. So do we still believe that she should have just sucked it up like other members of the family or does one think that maybe it's about time that we stop but no one would have private conversations with the editors saying enough my dad said to me darling boy you can't take on the media the media will always be the media and I said I fundamentally disagree I have 30 years my family You've heard the words from Prince Harry himself. The pleas he makes for his wife. Clearly, as you have heard, he was pleading with the royal family. He was talking to them, senior members of the royal family, from Charles to William. Those are the people he would talk to. But none of them would hear him. And the thing is, these people, like William, were having meetings with editors of the UK tablet press making a deal with them to feed Megan to the wolves the UK press to the likes of Jeremy Clarkson Piers Morgan and that's what happened Megan was fed to the wolves my family even if it was you even you wouldn't be able to handle a fraction of what both Harry and Meghan have had to endure, what Harry and Meghan have had to handle. None of you will be able to deal with it. None of you. Even I wouldn't be able to handle this. 
And the fact is, Megan is a human being. She's a human being. But she was not treated as a human being within the institution. You know what? When I look at the comments from Jeremy Clarkson, these hateful comments, you know, I wonder, don't the royal family see the hypocrisy in itself? Be because Camilla, a couple of days ago, was at an event condemning violence against women, condemning domestic violence against women. And then Camilla invites someone who wishes violence, who dreams of violence and physical harm to be caused to Meghan Markle. Camilla invites the person to an event, a party that she is hosting. My family, I have always said that tabloids are so much full of hypocrisy. But I must add senior members of the royal family in that mix. No one does hypocrisy more than the tabloids as well as the UK royal family. Nobody does hypocrisy more than them. No one in this entire, entire planet. And clearly you've heard from Harry of how much he, he fought to protect his wife. The, mo the mother of his two kids, Archie and Libertana, he clearly fought. He has fought. He fought until he got, he got tired of waiting for his family to help him. And he did what needed to be done. He took his wife and son away from a toxic environment. That is what Harry did to keep his wife and son safe. And I applaud him for that. We applaud him for that. My family, even when you see what Harry said, you can see extortion you know, in the media. And the thing is also, some people think that, okay, it's only Harry and Meghan that are the target today, that they are the target today. Some in the UK may say, ah, look, they're just target, targeting Harry and Meghan. Meghan only right now. She's their target. She's their focus. You know, some will even join in in the Tory campaign against Meghan Markle so that the media won't focus on them. The tabloids won't focus on their shady dealings. Like King Charles, you know, cash for honors. But the thing is, let me say this first of all. Today, Megan is the target. Today, she's the target. Yes, even Megan calls herself the target, even. In the Harry and Megan docu series, Megan calls herself a target. But tomorrow, it could be you who is the target. It could be you who is the target of these vultures, the UK tablet press. You could be the target of these wolves, the UK tabloid press. So as much as you pile on on Megan, because I know some are doing it because they want the tabloid media not to focus on them, tomorrow it could be your son or your daughter experiencing the same thing that you are doing to Megan Marco, my family. And one day, make no mistake about one thing, the royal family will answer for the pain that it has caused through slavery, colonialism, and the pain it has caused the women who marry into the institution. Make no mistake about that, 100%. And my family, continue hearing this, please. Experience of looking behind the curtain and seeing how the system works and how it runs. I mean, just constant briefings about other members of the family, about favors inviting the press in. It's a dirty game. You know, there's leaking, but there's also planting of stories. So if the comms team want to be able to remove a negative story about their principle, they will trade and give you something about someone else's principle. So the officers end up working against each other. It's a kind of a, this weird understanding or acceptance that happens. And you can always say, I didn't know about this, or don't be ridiculous, this would never happen. I would never go, are you suggesting that I can do this? It's like, no. But what I am asking is, have you done anything to stop it? And the answer is no. Okay.
<laughs> William and I both saw what happened in our in our dad's office, and we made an agreement that we would never let that happen to our office. Every year, Kensington Palace hosts a Christmas party for the principals and the staff. And so we were gearing up for one big party. And very shortly, very shortly before the party, it became two parties. It was actually, that was the point that you realised that these offices are separating. It could be the end of an era for the Royal Fab Four. The Fabulous Four No More, Meghan and Harry officially cutting ties with William and Kate. The split fueling speculation of further strains in the once close relationship between Harry and William and growing tensions between their wives. I would far rather get destroyed in the press than play along with this game or this business of trading. And to see my brother's office copy the very same thing that we promised the two of us would never ever do, that was heartbreaking. My family, as you have heard from Prince Harry himself, a real man, a real soldier, a man who honors his promises. A man of his words, a good husband and a good father. Prince Harry has said he would far rather be destroyed by the press. He would far rather be destroyed by them. Rather than play this toxic game, this dirty game. The game that claimed the life of Prince Harry and William's late mother, the late Princess Diana. However, William broke the vow that he made to Prince Harry, that they made to each other that they won't engage in these briefing games, planting of stories against each other. They would not do that. William, however, played that game, my family, because he had his own skeletons in his closet that he needed the press not to mention, the press not to publish. My family, that is the game. And William was so inclined and saw Megan as his new scapegoat. And he used Megan as a scapegoat to cover for his own mistakes, to cover for his own wrongs. That is what William did. William is Cain Judas, who betrayed his own brother, as you have heard. And my family, as you've heard about the parties, you know, in the palace, there are press parties whereby they invited to you know, have parties in the palace. That's clear. We have seen Camilla, the Queen Consort, dance, dancing with people working for the Sun Tabloid, people like Arthur Edwards. We have seen Camilla with this person, Jonathan Rothmere, going to his party. And now we are seeing Camilla inviting Jeremy Clarkson, a person who is so hateful towards Meghan and Piers Morgan, inviting them to her parties. But nobody would ask the questions. No one will ask the questions about why. Why are senior members of the royal family who say that, who claim that they love Prince Harry and Meghan, why are they having parties with people who abuse both Harry and Meghan? The tabloids won't ask that question, but I will ask that question. Why is Camilla, the Queen Consort, having parties with people abusing and dreaming about physical violence towards Meghan Markle, a woman who is against domestic violence against women, a woman against violence towards women, is bringing people who wish violence against Meghan Markle to, his, to her parties. Hypocrisy. No one does hypocrisy more than the UK Tabloid Press and also members of the farm. Now allow me to read a couple of comments, please, on Twitter, because people on Twitter are angry about the comments of Jeremy Clarkson, a friend of Camilla, the Queen Consort. Camilla was also an anti, you know, 
violence against women campaigner. Hypocritical, hypocritically, I might add. Very, very hypocritical, I might add. Now, someone called Tessie Ojo said that this is vile and depraved. The public figure is emboldened to write these words about another human is sickening. His confidence that many others share the same level of depravity is scary. Let's be clear that this is sexualized violence against women. Hashtag Jeremy Clarkson. And once again, Camilla the Queen concert had an event fighting against violence against women. Yet she invites someone to a party who wishes and dreams about violence against Meghan Markle, a woman. No one does hypocrisy more than the UK, tablet press and the farm. Now my family, someone said that they said this, that the royal family allowed the discourse about Meghan Markle in the UK press to become increasingly vile and also unhinged. Those insults on TV were normalized and are being normalized in print media. Jeremy Clarkson thinks that sexualized violence is tolerated once again. Someone else said that any organization that engages with the royal family on domestic violence, mental health, maternal health, violence against women, equality, climate change, homelessness, basically anything is deceptive, fraudulent, and must be condemned. Someone said that. Someone else said that Queen Consort Camilla invited a black woman to Buckingham Palace, Ngozi Fulani, where she was originally abused by Prince William's godmother, Lady Susan Hussey. She sat back for three weeks as she received death threats and shut down her domestic violence shelter. Then they sent the Taiji Commission on her until she gave, she gave in. My family. Until Ngozi Fulani gave in. The cruelty of the farm. Anyone who dares to speak up against racism within the royal family is targeted, abused, insulted, death threats they receive. As what Ngozi Fulani has received, what Megan has received and continues to receive. I condemn this 100%. And hear this, my family, hear this. Megan pleading and crying because of this. Just, just hear this, please. You are making people want to kill me. My family. You are making people want to kill me. It's not just a tabloid. It's not just some story. You are making me scared. Right? And like that night, to be up and down in the middle of the night, looking down my hallway, like, are we safe? Are the doors locked? Is security on? Is everything? That's real. Are my babies safe? And you've created it for what? Because you're bored or because it sells your papers or it makes you feel better about your own life? It's real what you're doing. And that's the piece I don't think people fully understand. You are making people want to kill me. My family, you have heard from Megan. And yet they continue. Yet they continue. Yet Camilla, the Queen Consort, who is against domestic violence against women, invites someone who dreams about domestic violence against Meghan Markle. The hypocrisy within the royal family. It's sad and it is sickening. My family, someone said this. On December the 15th, 2022, Jeremy Clarkson was at the pilot party, party thrown by Queen Camilla. On December 17th, 2022, Jeremy Clarkson calls for the lynching of Meghan Markle by a white mob. 
My family, when I say this, it hurts me just saying it. When I read this, I was in tears when seeing this, what Megan faces every single day. And it's relentless. It never stops. It never stops. It has got to stop. It has to stop. My family, it has got to stop. My family, it's sad really. It is sad really. Camilla, the Queen Consort, surrounds herself with people who openly threaten Megan's life. The same Camilla, the Queen Consort, trying to rebrand herself as a domestic violence advocate. You can't make this up. You can't. My family, someone called Catherine, shared the same sentiments that I shared. Shocking that it was written. Shocking that it was accepted by editors and published. Editors must have known that the readers accept those kinds of things and approved for this to be published. It's the Sun tabloid. Once again, so it is not really surprising as much. However, it's like they just find new ways to go low, low, and lower. Some of the says that this is utterly obscene. Why on earth would you write this misogynistic, vile abuse at Jeremy Clarkson? And why do they think it's okay to publish this hate? It's sickening. It's sickening. And Megan said that, you know, and I quote Megan's words, you are making people want to kill me. This is not just a tabloid. This is not just a tabloid. And our words are being proven to be true. My family, it saddens me what, what has happened and keeps on happening. It saddens me, my family. It saddens me. Now someone said that contemptible on the Sun and press regulator Ipso News, whose editors code allows for this to go unchecked. You have no regulations for the media in the UK, and that's why they can publish this vile hate, obscene hate. Because you have no regulations in the media, within the media. My family, hate will never ever win. Love wins. I want to say this, my family. Please tell me what you think about all of this kindly. I want to hear your opinion, please. My family, we must expose racism once and for all. And we must call in the masses to fight this hate. I can't do it alone. We can't do it alone. And that's why we are asking for more and more people to join in for us to fight this hate campaign. Hate will not win. Only love wins, my family. And my family, keep praying for Harry and Meghan. Keep praying for them. And the assistant police commissioner, Neil Basu, talked about these threats to Meghan from the far right. And people like Jeremy Clarkson are the far right. Family, for those who have it hard, can you just hear this, please? You were in charge of royal protection. Um, how would you characterize the threats that Meghan and Harry received? Well, disgusting and very real. I've talked publicly for many years about the threat of extreme right-wing terrorism in this country. I've often been misquoted as, as taking my eye off the ball, as though I think that that was the biggest threat. I've never called it the biggest threat, but it was the fastest growing. You know, and my wonderful friend and counterpart at MI5 will tell you exactly the same thing. That when I started in CT in 2015... Counterterrorism. Counterterrorism. It was about 6% of our total workload. Certainly when I left 15, 16 months ago, it was over 20% of our workload. But there were many serious, credible threats against Meghan, were there, emanating from the far right? Absolutely. Country. If 
you'd seen the stuff that was written and you were receiving it, the kind of rhetoric that's online, if you don't know what I know, you would feel under threat all of the time. So you were convinced that there was a genuine threat to Meghan's life on a, you know, on more than one occasion, on several occasions? Absolutely. We have teams investigating it. People have been prosecuted for those threats. You've heard yourself, my family. My family, once again, if you've seen, if you have seen the vile stuff being written online, you'll be convinced that indeed, Megan was under threat. And this is what Neil Basu was talking about. My family hate won't win, love wins. And please let us keep fighting this hate. I'm glad that people are calling him out on this, my family. People are calling him out for this. And thank you to all of those who have condemned these comments. Thank you. My family. Even a role expert called Peter Hunt said this, that a chance for palace sources to distance Camilla, a campaigner against violence against women, from her friend Jeremy Clarkson. Will they distance her? The answer is no. I don't think so. My family, these are who the royal family is, you know, is. And I think that my family, I think it's best for me to just end this podcast with what, you know, Dr. Shola had, you know, said. Because I did, you know, love what she did say, my family. Harry and Meghan's success will unhinge their enemies. May God plague those who hate her. And bitter enemies before her face. Then because of hate for Meghan Markle is unhinged. Bravo, Camilla. Show me you hate Meghan by parting with the haters without telling me you hate her. Thank you, Dr. Shola. May Harry and Meghan continue to thrive, not survive. May they be happy. That is my wish for them. For them to always be happy for them to thrive let no one ever you know take them down or destroy them they won't succeed may Harry Mega be billionaires billionaires much the envy of senior members of the royal family if they be billionaires may they be rich successful love admired everywhere may they always have the spotlight that other members of the royal family senior members of the royal family claim that they want to steal from Harry and Meghan. But they'll never ever have what Harry and Meghan have. My family, the love, admiration, respect from people globally around the world. My family, and with that, and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support every good family on YouTube. Please stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, Libidana. May God protect them. Please stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.